the Kenna Metal SGL 40 times diameter drill. This thing is a beast, and today I'm gonna to show you how to hand program it with GNM codes. It's about to get crazy. It's about to go down. It's about to go down. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Titan, Titans of CNC, and uh, Check this out, a few days ago we put up a video and it's blowing up. The video is called Incredible 40 Times Diameter Deep Hole Drilling in Stainless, all right? And in this video, I explain the art of drilling deep consistently and making perfect holes. So make sure that you check out that video. Now today, I'm doing another video this kind of partnered with that. And the reason is when we put the video up, there's a bunch of comments underneath asking, hey Titan, how did you actually program that drill? Did you use CAM? And the answer is no. Even though there are some amazing deep hole drilling cycles throughout different CAM products. So what I did was actually hand code the drilling cycle. Why would I do that if you could actually do it in CAM? Because I wanted absolute control. Deep hole drilling in stainless and super alloys is an art, all right? And you have to treat it as such. So I figured I would just give you the code that I use to successfully drill stainless 40 times diameter, boom. All right, real quick before we get into the programming section, I just wanna invite you guys, if you love the tutorials, the education, the entertainment, the leadership training, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you love this video at the end, hit the like button. And if you have additional questions or comments, go ahead and put it down below. And just like I'm doing now, it might be in a future vlog, okay? So check this out. I'm not gonna go into all the details and variables of deep hole drilling. If you wanna know that, watch the other video. I'm simply gonna give you the code. Now, we're gonna start at Z.1, X, Y is zero, and it's centered perfectly over the pre-drilled hole, okay? In the other video, we had a pilot drill that went down Z, negative 1.2. Although the pilot drill was the same diameter, the tolerance was on the plus side, and the tolerance on this deep hole drill is on the minus side, because we don't want any rubbing. All right, so this is where we're starting. We're Z.1 and we're ready to drop into the hole. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on the spindle. So it's gonna be M3S183, which turns on the spindle clockwise at 183 RPMs, which is 10% of my speed I'm gonna use for actually drilling the stainless. Why is it so low? Because I don't want any wobble when I actually drop into the pre-drilled hole. In the other video, I explained why a lot of people actually reverse the spindle when they drop in. Also talked about the drill tip and the diameters, etc. All right. Now, while I'm outside of the hole, I'm going to turn on my flood coolant, so M8. It doesn't matter. I could have it off. I could have it on. But in case I touch metal, I want the lubricity, okay? So our first Z movement is going to go one times diameter. All right. So we're going to go Z negative 3125 and the feed is gonna be at 0.55, which is also 10% of my overall feed that I'm gonna use later, all right? So I'm just at 10%. So I'm dropping down to Z negative 312. I'm dropping down into the hole. Once I'm engaged inside the hole and my tip is not in danger of hitting the corner of the pre-drilled hole, at this time, I'm gonna turn off the flood coolant and I'm gonna turn on the through coolant that's gonna come through the tip of the drill. Now that my drill is secure in the hole, I'm gonna turn up the speed, all right? So I'm gonna to go to 20%, which is 366. And because in machining, sometimes it takes a second for the spindle to react or the coolant to react, I'm just gonna add a dwell, okay? So I'm gonna add a G4 F1, which will give me a dwell for one second just to ensure that coolant is coming through. Now I'm gonna drill all the way down to Z negative 1.17. And that'll put me within 30 thousandths of hitting the bottom of the hole, all right? Why am I so close? I'm so close because I don't want any chips getting trapped right there, okay? Because at this time, I'm actually going to full RPM. So speed, 1833, I'm just gonna add a dwell. And now the feed rate goes up to 5.5 
And guess what? There is no stopping now. We're just going to plunge all the way down, feeding at 5.5, 40 times diameter, breaking little chips all the way down in stainless steel. Once we break through, you'll see the coolant start blasting through the bottom of the hole. Okay, at that time I'm just going to slow the drill down to 100 RPMs. I'm going to turn my coolant off and I'm just going to bring my drill out of the hole 50 inches a minute, nice and cool. Boom, we're ready for the next hole. And that is exactly how I hand programmed this SGL drill.